Welcome to Challenger Wild. I'm your host, James Moreland, and here we have our awesome fish tank with the new moss ball over there. If you didn't see that from the last video, make sure you hit that up there. So guys, here we go. I, sh I stuck with the same setup. It has a helmet, um, the fake plants on this side, and the real plants on this side. So it's kind of even because this is the filter that's putting oxygen, and these are the plants putting oxygen, so it's kind of like that middle area. So guys, we have an awesome special guest that I've wanted for a while. I've got the shrimp. Um, these are the ghost shrimp because they were the cheapest ones because I didn't want to spend a lot of money. Um, they were only 49 cents each, which is crazy. People usually feed these to animals, but I kind I really like these guys. So I got three of them. They're going to be awesome in this tank, I think. Uh, I might eventually get red ones or, yeah. So guys, we're first going to put these in the tank to acclimate them to the environment. There we go. Uh, just let them sit in there for about 30 minutes so they get regular to the environment. And yeah, make sure you guys check out the other video where I uh, had the moss ball. So uh, if you guys like this setup, make sure you drop that down below. Yeah. I'm going to get a view of the shrimp in the bag. This, this tank looks so cool. I love the color scheme. The black um, Vanta. I have the Molly Marble, which is the Oreo. Um, he's the black and white. And I have Velvet the Beta. He is so awesome. He's really intrigued by this bag. We definitely know who the dominant fish is in this tank. Um, then we have our Guppy, we have our Sun Kisses, and we have our Red, um, I don't know his name. So yeah, this tank is coming together really well. I think these might be our last things. Maybe, maybe some Red or Orange Shrimp later on. I don't know their actual names. And maybe even a Snail to help clean this. Make sure you guys drop down if I should get a Snail to help clean the glass. And yeah, the plants and more agriculture. Um, it's a pretty amazing, pretty cool. So yeah. So I will be back right after this. And I actually have footage of me getting this at the store. Um, these shrimp do jump a lot. And the guy had some difficulty. So I'm going to play some of that footage right now. Yeah, so that was at the pet store. It's a pet code down in Kenosha, not in Racine. So that one had everything, every fish thing you ever needed. So I'm definitely going to be going there more often. While these guys are acclimating, I'm actually going to be talking about what's good about these guys. These guys are um, scavengers. They're going to be looking on the bottom. Their diet consists of waste, or, um, wasted food and other things that are just lying on the bottom of the tank. So these guys are going to help clean it so there's no debris or anything on the bottom, which is going to be pretty awesome. Um, instead of having to do as many gravel changes, this should help. And I got three of them. They're going to fit well with these fish. Um, they're fairly, they're very peaceful. Um, and so are all my other fish, except for the beta, which is a little weary or worrying. But there are quite a few hiding spots behind this grass, um, inside the helmet, behind the moss ball, inside some of these plants, around it. And yeah, so they should be doing pretty well. And they'll probably just stay at the bottom cleaning, which is nice. These shrimp aren't going to be getting that much bigger. They are about two inches right now, and that's about how they should be when they're older. Okay guys, I am back. Now the shrimp have been in here for about 15 or 20 minutes. So actually I'm going to use a net to get these guys out so I don't actually put any of the water inside the tank. Alright. So they do jump, the guy at the store said, when they were getting out and they actually did. So here we go. Oh, he's in the tank. Okay, next one. Okay, second, our next one. One more. The smaller one. It would be so much easier if I could just put the water in there. Alright. We got all of them in there. Urgh. It would have been so much easier if I could have just dumped the water, but that is not good for the tank. Okay, I don't know where... I see two of them. I don't know where the other one went. Oh, they're pretty cool. They're acting pretty calm. Huh, I don't know where the other one went. Oh, I see him. He's under the helmet. Alright, that's good. So they're um, using the hiding spots. I'm going to get a cool camera angle of them. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this video about the new shrimp that are in this tank, and yeah, thanks for watching, and have a great day.